relic. It's a relic. It's a relic of sorrow. Well, and, so we're really. And I'm, I'm, I'm a relic. I'm a relic too. I'm a relic in the way I, pra I practice medicine. I'm, I'm the art, you know, I just. Uh, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm like a country doctor in, in the heart of Soho. Uh, um. I wanted to, wanted to document uh, something about what we created here before it's all gone. It's gonna go soon. reading your chart it doesn't look good honestly hey we're in a medical office and we're on Kickstarter now Kickstarter um, is really interesting because in truth it's it's a little bit like the process of uh, doing what we have to do anyway mm -hmm. I make films uh, when I get a chance and uh, my name is Paul Hasegawa Overacker, and I'm a director and producer, uh, cameraman, editor, whatever it takes. You know we're going to be doing a series of jump cuts on this. There's absolutely no other way of doing it. And there's also going to be intercuts too because, well, that's, that's actually the way we kind of do things. Some of this film is about uh, remembering another way of doing medicine. In April of 2011, I get an email from my doctor. And basically it says, let's go. I have an incredible narrative. Losing the lease of landlords runs $38,000 only two months. Wind it down, let's come document the end of an era. Come make a statement about values in America. Come document the issuance of company uh, insurance practices that have killed Mercer Street Medical. I'm in favor of yet another Banana Republic or Sunglass Hut, but you know, come hang out with uh, patients. But, but basically he's saying, uh, well, he, he, you know, in the inscrutable manner that doctors have in writing prescriptions or anything that you've ever seen him write, he actually was able to translate this inscrutability, but still deliver the message to me uh, via his um, cellular device. So, um, be that as it may, he issued a, a, a dire order to me to come down and start videotaping as soon as I possibly could. He actually said, come now. I got the order on... Uh, what was it, the 8th of April, and I was here, embedded like a tick, um, by the 11th. And I was there for this three month um, period of transition, where they have to face realities that other, you know, Americans face. I mean, it's no surprise. I mean, people face this kind of thing all the time. It's just that when it's someone that you know, someone who's got a very complex uh, system of operation with a lot of people involved in, and several people and employees whose lives are all intertwined with this situation, you know, it, this makes for some uh, uh, drama. But then she yeah. might be the nervous yeah. type. I don't know. I'm actually I'm very calm. I'm super calm. I really don't get. I really don't get emotion. Like I'm very calm and collected, and I have really. It's rare, rare for me to to be. You're all good. His patients have uh, an unusual loyalty and affection for him because he knows who they are, and. They know who he is, and there's an element of trust that goes on. And he made this one comparison to himself uh, to being kind of a country doctor, which I thought was funny since he was carrying a patient load of about 25 to 27,000 people on the active two-year file. That would be a pretty big town doctor. If you think about it, that many people and one doctor is a lot of people. That's not a small town. That's a medium-sized town. And that's the only doctor. It has everything to do with healthcare today. 
and how Americans are having to cope with it. But a lot of what Dr. Isaacs has, has to say in his anger and his frustration about how the American medical system has squeezed him out. We, however, are, are getting less money per visit from the insurance companies now than we were 15 years ago. You know, these are some of the insurance checks. You know, very, and there's not a, there are millions of them. Like, is this is for 65 cents. This is for five cents. Well, here's one for two cents. With the help of Kem Kambara, who's uh, helping me right now. And this has been something that, you know, as uh, you know, a business researcher, as, you know, as a or uh, organizational sociologists and all of this, uh, I've been interested in studying uh, the health, you know, healthcare systems from an economic sociology point of view. And one of the things that has been cropping up is this idea of, in, you know, the rise of industrialized medicine. And it, you know, Dr. Isaacs, uh, you know, you know, coins, you know, the, the you know, the phrase, uh, the agribusiness of medicine, the industrial medicine, agriculture, agribusiness, uh, insurance business, uh, uh, Boston. Even the creation of the film and the material that's generated by the film, it doesn't all go to loss. It doesn't end up on the on the uh, cutting room floor like a normal film. This is something that can actually be uh, disseminated uh, through the new digital media that we have at our disposal and we do intend to use that media. And you see the whole processes of the movie actually rolling out, even though you have no idea what it's gonna look like in the end, because we don't either. It takes months to do what we're trying to do. That filmmakers are, are hungry and, and, well, and, and, and doctors aren't supposed to be. And that, yeah, but money, but that film, film costs, you know, production of these things costs money. And filmmakers are hungry. And they're, uh, yeah, filmmakers are. are the filmmakers are the filmmakers are the new poets. But it really boils down to what people do, and what people where they come from, and and what their relationships are. And in the end, it's about this relationship that we have with our environment, and that we have with the people that we are close to, and that this man, these doctors, these people who work here in this facility are very dedicated to what they do and they are not alone. There's a lot of people out there that do this and then there's a lot of people who don't. We're showing you the ones who do and it's this place right here. Mercer Street Medical. Uh, Merce, <laughs> it's a mystery case. We don't know what's going to happen. Help us make it happen. We guarantee you that it's going to be worth the effort. Thank you. But what do you mean by case? What do you mean by mystery? The case, the case of mystery medical, or the curious case of mystery medical, or what? Are the, what do you